are creating the computer, and also software from Microsoft, and some even familiar with the kind of slow and such. And what you can imagine that the things are located. So this way, this is an interesting uh, example to address the notion of what we call no free presence. Uh, Telepresence spends so much money and the resource to make a visual or auditory illusion as if all your partners in the same room uh, sending so many uh, bits. But uh, this index shows a very different approach. Instead of uh, showing the image of the people, just showing the result of the movement of the object by the most people, you can be really convinced about most people. It's something to do with the play and error. But traditional represents always on the screen, which is diminished the sense of the movement. So seeing this image of the body based on imagination is be much more powerful than visual representation. Then this concept was really, really uh, not accepted by science community, but art community realized this idea. And later I had many other uh, students this notion that started interesting uh, remote collaboration project. It's very encouraging. So another example is a uh, kinetic uh, memory. Uh, this is a carnival, and uh, this is a, a tiny uh, robot which you can grasp, then manipulate, teaching a how to get good. For some reason, the video does not look smooth. So basically, you can grab the tiny of this. is like a physical grammar of the cartography uh, of the local language that the single papa uh, invented many, many years ago. But by spreading this one, you can really see the subject. So this is a way to teach a tiny robot about the movement. So it's good for the differential geometry. But also it's a really great idea for the storytelling. So that's a device which has a split I.O. for instance, like the impact, but uh, because of the play in a singular way. So another example is Hubble World, which has a few different <laughs> Uh, I took the paper in the proceedings, so all the details you may take a look. 
that uh, this is today's rule, not to mention the amount of digital information being the C level of digital. So the, the in-time implementation of digital and sound, this is the remote controller, and only physical stuff we can grab. That is today's rule model. So sound is very different because we give a physical implementation, hand implementation, that also sound as a control become an input. So boundary between input and output is dragged by this representation. However, some representation has a similar indication for display or dynamic change because actuation costs a lot. So we still use combined in terms of representation like uh, video projection and sound in the uh, variety of the application. Another important thing is double group. So if you have a physical object, you really get a feedback. So this means feedback of time is something very important. When you use a interface, you still get the immediate physical loop and digital feedback. So if you use a GUI, you have to rely on the second loop. Second loop inevitably has a delay or a parallax. That's for a lot of the problem. But there's no opportunity to grab all this, move it, release it, you will finish the issue in the command. So that is important difference. But for the details, please take a look at the paper. So one point is something we are very much passionate because we spend so much time around the work table on a desk. <coughs> one of the other projects that's a brief, the first a brief around the front in the front of the Louis paper is a meta desk, uh, which creates a more problem than the answering any question. But it's a very fun project. It's the first time we realize the physical representation also have a control. So, so this is a very great project which taught us a lot of lessons. And we interested in the, uh, the video is online. I don't have the time to show it, so I have a chance to take a look at the video. Then finally, Dr. John Matagopra, who is my first PhD student who graduated, came up with a clear application of both art, which very convinced people about the meaningfulness of the application in the context of the urban planning. So I'd like to show the video. <coughs> So this uh, plan is a physical time <coughs> representation. This shadow is in time of representation, dynamic computer simulation. The project is next to the building model so people understand, people don't get confused. So this clock works as an inbound like a controller. So to control the position of the time or time of the day, we use this clock as a controller device. So using this uh, stuff, we can use the practice or skills people have been using for Mesopotamia or whatever to design a city. So using a physical object and uh, body space, special arrangement for collaboration, something very fundamental, far before the bar of the computer. So instead of diving into the computer screen, do the simulation or emulation of these channel stuff, we do a computation on the table of the uh, fractional. That also helps for the developer to communicate with the government to get permission or to co communicate with the people who are living in the city to assess environmental impact. Because if it's a PowerPoint, the leader is already believing because all of these pieces are dead and optimized for certain parties. But uh, this open simulation really uh, sets a different stage. Also, this system can be extended because this is a part of the the context of IOR, which John was for his thesis. IOR is the uh, evolution of the light bar. From just editing a one by one pixel photo, it becomes high resolution, but also by nature. So, like a camera and a video projector pair. So, this uh, VIP center may have a standard light bar. So, imagine if we display all the light bars into the IOR, then you can do all the digital meaning. So, that two IOR bars taking care of this pair to communicate. My laser beam is received by another table, then bounced back using the uh, icon of the uh, half silver mirror. All the objects is that object, but, but now I bar see the computational meaning, then project all the computational distance shadow and light, so that we can give a new meaning to the artificial membrane or surface as an interface between people. So you can immediately 
uh, extent we are uh, working uh, process using this idea. So during this process, we realize we need a more robust uh, scale technology to, to do the simple stuff. Identify the object on the table top. <coughs> also, locating the position. Also, sending the orientation. So James Pate and I did a series on the exploration of the <coughs> sensitive hardware to do this job. And the